YouTube, what up? What's going on? It's your boy Cadillac J, and I'm back with another video. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, and you know all the mothers who's doing both. You know, Happy Father's Day to y'all too. Um, you know, just uh, just remember today is about you. You know, today is your day to you know relax and make everybody go do everything else for you. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I appreciate uh, all the hardworking fathers out there who, uh, who uh, you know, get out here every day and make shit happen for their kids and uh, everything. But uh, today we have a kind of a different video. Um, a buddy of mine needs his truck uh, started putting his expedition. So I'm gonna go over here and uh, knock this uh, knock this out really quick. Um, and then uh, my uncle actually went and got some parts for the Saturn View. So we're gonna, um, sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a second. So we're gonna get the, uh, get, the uh, get those parts, try to get those on tomorrow. We're gonna go look for a bumper and uh, the front and rear bumper for the truck and just try to get it, uh, get it all, uh, you know, situated and put back together. But uh, let's go on out here, uh, get the truck ready and everything, and then uh, get over here and get the starter done. tightened up um i have started already so i get you guys caught up to speed there's an 03 uh expedition xlt i uh jacked it up put a jack stand under there you know and i don't have the jack on but it is right there so just in case the jack stand give out or anything like that i still have some kind of support and this is tight so, you know, <clears throat> there. All right, so first things first, you wanna unhook the battery, which I did. It's like a little eight millimeter or something like that. It's uh, really small. So um, I just used these little pliers right here, these little vice grips and got them off like that. It wasn't that hard, okay? Then uh, we come down here to the starter. Get under the truck. Okay, it's a little greasy up on the ears. All right, so here's your starter right there. Okay, so you had to take off a few. You had to take off. Hold up, it's kind of hard to do this. So you have to take off this bolt here and that one there. And there's one in the back behind these wires, back over there, you, right there. You need to take that one off as well, okay? Those would be uh, 13 millimeter bolts, these three. And then this one right here, the smaller one would be a 10 millimeter. Then there'd be another bolt on the top side. But this back one back here that I was showing you, that one actually has two 13 millimeters on it. One is to hold it to the bracket or whatever. Then the ground goes on there, the wire goes on, then the other bolt goes on there. All right, so you have to take the bolt off, take the wire off, then get the other bolt at the back. So I'm about to do that now, then get the other bolt at top, then pull it out and then uh, match it up with the new one, make sure they're the correct ones and then put the new one in. So, uh, yeah, let me get this done and uh, get you guys uh, caught up to speed on what's happening in a few minutes. All right, guys, so got the old one out sitting right here.
see that. Hello. Probably the one that's been in the car this whole time since it's been uh since it was made. Here's the new one right here. And there are my bolts. I took off. See. The new one came with bolts, so I don't need those bolts. Uh, that top one, this one here, is hard. It's hell to get to. So, uh, what I did was I had to have both of my hands in there at the same time. Uh, it was very uncomfortable, but thank God I had the jack stand to where I can maneuver my way. But I had both arms in there both hands uh, and I pretty much had one hand like this holding the starter and the bolt uh, and I had the other hand turning the wrench and I was keeping this thumb and this two fingers right here on the uh, actual nut that's up there at the top you can see it right there I was keeping my finger up on it like that to keep it on there while I was turning it and let me tell you, it was hard and my hands was getting tired and everything, but we got it done. So we can go ahead and slap this new one in here, put the wires and everything back on and start her up and see how it goes. Now, just to be clear, I wasn't the one who diagnosed it with a starter problem. I was called and asked to change the starter. So do I know if it's the starter for sure? No. But if you call me and ask me to change something and you tell me for sure that's what it is, that's what I'm going to change. If it doesn't, if the problem still occurs after I change whatever I, whatever I change, that would be on you because um, you told me exactly what you wanted me to do. Call me, you say you want a water pump done, I change your water pump. Now, if your radiator is shot, then and you didn't need a water pump, but you wanted your water pump anyway. I didn't know your radiator was shot, and I'm going to change your water pump. And then once you figure out your radiator is shot, then, hey, we're going to have to change your radiator, and you know how the game go. But, uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, get this new one back in and finish off my father's day before it gets too late. I was out in the garage doing it uh, started, so my phone overheated. So I wasn't able to finish my video, but pretty much uh, to give y'all the basis, a basic rundown of everything that happened afterwards. Uh, got the new starter out. I um, put the new starter in, and what I did was I put the bottom bolt on first, uh, threaded it in just a little bit to where it'll stick. Then I went to the top since it was loose and I could still maneuver and get my hand up in there. And I put the top one in. And then once I got the top one in, I tightened that one all the way down. And then, well, not all the way. I got it close to where it was always almost tightened. And then I put the middle bolt in. Then I tightened them all down, put the wires back on, and the car didn't start. So I was, I was like, well, there's only one way you can put the starter in. You know, and I put all my battery, all my wires on right. So I just I wasn't understanding what was going on. So I went to the battery and I noticed that the battery had a lot of corrosion around the terminals. So I took my handy dandy wire brush and I cleaned off the corrosion and um, put the uh, wires back on and started, uh, hit the key. And the, man, get the hell out of my way, dude. Like, the fuck is wrong with you? Started the key and the car started, I turned the key and the truck started right up. So I uh, put the tire and everything back on and uh, everything was everything, you know. So now I'm headed back to the house now. I'm going to shower and then head over to my bro house and uh, figure out what we're going to do for Father's Day dinner. Um, doesn't look like I'll be getting my little ones today for some strange reason, but whatever I don't need a special day to you know for an acknowledgement of the things that I do and all of that you know I make sure I take care of my kids you know and I make sure they all good so whatever it is what it is but uh, once we get up back over to bro house um, 
you know, after I shower and everything, we get over to Bro House, you know, we'll pick this video back up. All right, go. Yo, what's up, everybody? Uh, back at the house, as you can see, all cleaned up with the Dells and the Jays on the feet. You know what I'm saying? Just a little something like Father's Day. You know, go kick it with my peeps. Um, I'm not going to be vlogging, so this is going to be the end of the video. But once again, I just want to uh, touch on a couple of things. I just want to say uh, to all of my essential workers, we appreciate y'all, everything y'all do. Uh, to all my fathers out there, happy Father's Day. Hope y'all enjoy y'all day to the fullest. Do I uh, hope y'all get the gifts that y'all wanted or the relaxation that y'all wanted. Uh, and to the protesters that are still out there protesting, because I can see, uh, you know, some of my f social media platforms that uh, a couple of people are out there still protesting. I appreciate y'all. Uh, stay safe, you know, and, um, you know, we appreciate that front line that y'all doing for us right now. You know, uh, it's all love. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Y'all have a great week. And uh, to the next video, 